This video will present solutions to the VCE 2021 Mathematical Methods Written Examination 2, Section B, Question 5. Question 5 concerns itself with a function f of x, which is comprised of a sine and a cosine term. Part A asks for the period of f, as the period of sine x on 2 is 4 pi, and the period of cos 2x is pi, then the period of the function f, which is the sum of these, is 4 pi. Part B. The minimum value of f, correct to three decimal places, can efficiently be calculated using the class pad's fmin command. Part C. f of h take x represents a transformation of f such that it is reflected in the y-axis and translated h units left. Based on this thinking, the smallest value of h is 2 pi. Part D. By comparing the set of functions g a to the function f, it is clear that f is a member of the set g with an a value of 2. Part e, part 1. The antiderivative of g a can be found using the laws of integration or a class pad. Part E, Part 2. The definite integral of g a from 0 to 2 a pi will provide some insight into the area between g a and the x-axis over that interval. This can be calculated by adding bounds to the indefinite integral found in Part 1. As a is an integer, then so is 2a squared. And the sine of any integer multiple of pi is 0, so this definite integral is equal to 0 for all integer values of a. So, the signed area above the x-axis, positive, and below the x-axis, negative, cancel out. And therefore, these areas are equal in magnitude. Part f. As sine and cosine values are bounded between minus 1 and 1, then g of a being the sum of sine and cosine values is between minus 2 and 2. Part g. One way to think about the minimum value of g a is to consider g a as the sum of two trigonometric waves. As a gets large, the period of the sine x on a wave increases, while the period of the cos ax wave decreases. These two waves superimposed will look something like this. In the vicinity of the minimum value of the cos ax wave, the sine x over a wave will be at a minimum or close to it, giving g a a minimum close to or at its least value of negative 2. This suggests focusing on small values of a, i.e. 1, 2 and 3. The minimum values of g a for these a values can be found by modifying the fmin command used earlier.
This thinking and these calculations suggest that the greatest possible minimum value of GA is when A equals 1. Whilst an examination may not be the ideal time to draw a dynamic graph, such a graph would also provide insight into this question. As this shows, the minimum value of GA is close to minus 2 for large values of A, but increases as A decreases. This confirms the calculations done previously.